Kate Harcourt, I'm an environmental professional and I've been working on the Varish project for over two years. An environmental and social impact assessment is an iterative process which helps us to identify the environmental and social issues, collect data and information about those aspects and use a variety of methods to predict what effects the project might have. Then we can probably manage those impacts during the life of the mine. We begin by meeting a wide range of people from the local area and talking about concerns they might have and reviewing existing information. We then set about collecting baseline data on air quality, noise, soils, biodiversity, surface and groundwater, traffic and cultural heritage. Next, we took the project design and carried out predictive modelling. If we predicted that the impacts in a particular location might be negative, we looked at ways of eliminating or minimising those impacts. We can then manage those during project activities and, where necessary, offset or compensate for the impacts. In this way, we ensure that the project design and operation is optimised for minimal environmental and social disturbance and that any necessary controls are integrated into the design. And of course, we also look at mine closure, again, to avoid impacts. The draft documents, which are now available on the website and elsewhere, include the documentation of that ESIA process and also the various management plans.